Okay, you don't want to be the IT guy everybody hates. Here's what near it means to people who hate an IT guy. Not function, egocentric, resentful, ignorant, and a technician. For example, ignorant means, you know, you're out of printer and the guy tells you to buy a new printer. He's not listening to you. Well, yeah. And the technician means you only go by the book. You don't listen to others. And 90% of the time, nothing will be fixed if you only go by the book. Okay, now, let's review the course prerequisites. Could anybody help me with the help of the class? Eric? Yeah. M is for mode of And E is for uh, energetic or yeah. Here are the objectives. Can you help me review them? Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Multitasking. Okay. No, no, team teamwork. No, uh, does anybody? Yeah. Team player. Ignorant means by a bad technician. 
your printer is out of ink and so he just asks you to go and get a new printer. And take the chip? Uh, I'm one who only goes by the book. Yes, okay. Thank you, Valor. No. No. Do you work harder than everyone else? No. no. Even with a four-year degree, you're still just like everyone else. Now, are you ready to try my shortcut to success? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Jump start. Jump starting IT career can be easy. No people skills, no problem. You can work on that. Surf only with a keyboard, not a surfboard. Great for non-athletic people like me. And how you hold these quick? Just the right personality we need for this ever-changing industry. Don't like to learn what you don't need to know? Great. We'd like to preserve memory too. Okay. Coming up after the break. We're going to be learning about Windows Vista, the control panel, where to find it, more in depth about the features inside the control panel, how to get used to it. Next week, we'll be learning about virtual private networks, how to set up a virtual private network, and the features from a virtual private network. And then the next four weeks, we'll be learning about office applications, the basic functions and tools. Okay, questions? Okay, Eric. Um, which office application did you recommend to start? off with first? Well, I would suggest you start off with Word because Word can leave PowerPoint and then Outlook because they both have similar features like you get print, you know, paste, everything including the home tab which is located on every single office application. Any other questions? Um, what's the difference between like 2003 office application and 2007? Well, 2003 is less complex, but it's harder to find different tools. But in 2007, you have the ribbon, and the ribbon is a major function in the Office applications for 2007. And it's easier to sort out things to know this stuff. Any other questions? Valerie? Um, for me, who hasn't really gotten used to the computer, would it be hard to find answers on certain things? Well, here's an easy way. You go to the start button located at the bottom right, bottom left hand corner of the screen, and there should be a Windows Vista logo. You click that logo, and it will give you a bunch of other options and functions and tools and software. But you want to go to the right, to the very bottom, and you'll see there's help and support. You hit that help and support, and you can try looking for any help and support or questions. And if that doesn't work, you can ask a question or search the web. Any other questions? Okay. Okay, break time. Now please be back in 10 minutes.